Hey guys, what's up? Sam Pro here, and welcome uh, back to another episode of the RPG Maker tutorial series thing. Alright, so uh, this tutorial is for somebody who I forgot his name, like I always usually do, because I always forget to actually read their name and focus on it before I record, so I'm like, oh, I forgot their name, but it's in the description all the time. Alright, so this is how to make lives. First thing we're going to do is open up GIMP, because GIMP is pimp. And as soon as this thing opens, we're going to make a little text doohickey. Let's go, let's open up. Let's open the gimp. Gimp. Gimp, gimp. Am I seriously jamming out to a gimp beatbox? I don't know, but I got my coffee with me and it's amazing. So, Alright, so first we're going to do... What we're going to do actually is... We're going to do 544 4 by 416. Now, you could use mathematics to you know figure out where your thing should be. I forgot exactly where my health thing was, so I'm going to kind of move the text over to here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to make white text anywhere on the screen, as long as it's not in the way of your health bar. If it is, you can simply move it with variables, or not even variables, just change this X position when you're doing the picture. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to do lives, uh, not libraries, lives, three. We're going to do export, and we're going to find the Pokemon folder. GVX graphics, and now we're going to go to pictures, dynamic pictures. See, now we're going to do lives1.png. Make sure you have a transparent background. That's what the checker thing represents. It represents transparency. Two. And we're going to do one. Name it one. Oh. Wait, name this three because, yeah, we're one, two, three. I should have just went three, two, one, but no. It's fine. It works. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just do three. Um, if you guys want zero as the count as a life, you can do this again. But I'm not going to right now. No, not because I'm lazy or anything. Did we use common events for this? Yes, we did. Now, what's going to happen is, instead of... The, uh, instead of erase picture 50 and game over, just delete those. What we're going to be doing is, when HP is equal to negative 7, which is 0 in the actual game, we're going to do another conditional branch. This conditional branch will be variable. We're going to do this. We're going to do lives. We're just going to name it lives. And we're going to do greater than or equal to, let's see, we have three lives, 0, negative 1, negative 2. So if it's greater than or equal to um, negative 1, because, you know, those are the last two, when HP is 0, we're going to do control variables, lives, subtract by 1. <laughs> now what we're going to do, okay, is we're going to reset our HP variable. So variable HP set to 0. And, uh... Now we're going to do, oh, I'll make sure the uncheck, uh, to uncheck this little box. I, I always forget to do that. You don't really have to, but it just makes it look a little more clean, kind of, I guess. Anyways, so now we can do conditional branch again. We're going to do lives. Remember, this is underneath this conditional branch. We're going to do lives is equal to negative 2, and your HP is 0. Then it does the end game thing. So we're going to do game over. Let's test that out. So, oh, wait, we need to show the picture. <laughs> now, what we're going to be doing is, like, uh, underneath all of this, underneath er, but er thing, <laughs> now we're going to do conditional branch, variable lives is equal to zero. I forgot to do the uh, check, uncheck else box thing. We're going to do show picture, another random picture that you don't use. You could, you, I'd really recommend you going in order, though, but I... I do not. Okay, so that was... Okay, so that was number 50. You can do 51 if you want. Picture number 51 to make it a lot simpler. All right, uncheck the little box. Now, conditional branch is equal to zero. It shows three lives. Conditional branch is equal to negative one. It shows two lives. Copy and paste that again. Conditional branch equal to negative two. Shows one life. Dagnabbit, not poodles. <laughs> Hi, poodles. No, um. 
So we're gonna do that and save this. That is incredibly loud. All right, let's test it. So we have three lives. Two lives. And it's just bugger. Like a boss, like going chicken ham. What? So let's find out what just happened. Zero, negative one, negative two, and... Okay. If it's greater than negative two... If it's greater than negative two, try that. Minus plus one, two... Yeah, it should be... However, if it's equal to negative two... Here, uh, try this. If it's equal to negative three... Sometimes, like, it, like, for each program, it acts different for some reason. Like, if you're actually programming, it'll be a lot different. Like, but ton different. Now, come here. Attack. Two. One. Huh? Huh? Okay, so it does have to be negative two. But it just bugged. Why did it bug last time? Actually, I may have an idea if it don't work. Actually, I do have a workaround if this doesn't work. Because I know it will work, but, you know. <laughs> Fuzzy nipples. Yeah, see how it's bugging like that? To fix that, all you have to do is call Doctor Who. What? Oh, yeah, uncheck that box. And we're going to do, instead of negative 2, we're going to do greater than negative 3. No! That's what happened anyways. I, I said greater than, and it should be greater than or equal to. <laughs> Would you just attack me, woman? Oh my gosh. One. There you go. Now you have it. <laughs> um... Let's however erase that one picture, erase picture 50. So we're gonna, if Lazy was negative, wait, right here, game over, but before game over, we're gonna erase the picture number 50, which is our picture. It'd probably be different for you. No, not show, erase. There. And if you wanna make the picture slightly red as it goes down, you can use the pic tent picture ideas too. You can also uh, rotate them, set weather effects, poke me. Yeah, you can actually set a weather effect to where it's like snowing or something, and that would look pretty cool. Like if your HP is low, it snows, like you're seeing part of the spam. Yeah. Like, there you go. So that's how you guys make lives for your games. I'll see y'all later, and thanks y'all for watching.